Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm your host MDT and today we're going to talk about something really exciting about ingot selection. With me today is Jörg Müller. He's a master network technician. He's the founder and CEO of Aesthetic Press. Hi Jörg, how are you doing? Welcome. Thank you very much for having me. So, Jörg, um, today we're going to talk about ingot selection. And I'm going to tell you, I trained many technicians in ingot selection. I trained them in internal staining. I trained them in how to select the right ingot for the right stump. So, Jörg, tell me, why is stump selection so important? Well, I mean, we have always um, had a little issue with uh, taking the right shade uh, especially when you are dependent on the regular VIDA shade guide, which is the traditional shade guide that is in every dental office and in every dental laboratory, or uh, the more advanced version, the 3D shade. Um, we're dealing with always the same issues that the actual shade guide is uh, three to four millimeter thick. And uh, the crown that we're doing is um, only either as a, if a veneer, then we have 0 0.3 or 0 0.6. A crown goes up one to 1.0 to 1.2 millimeter. So the thickness, which is very important to uh, match a shade, um, is not really corresponding. So that's the first thing. Um, then I also thought the uh, regular shade guide is more or less two dimensional. So we have the shades, uh, the groups A, B, C, D, and then we have one to four. So that's a uh, two dimensions, uh, <clears throat> but we're not somehow respecting um, the opacity level of a crown in the underlying stump when we are dealing with full porcelain crowns, whether they are a, made out of a lithium silicate material or a um, zirconia, uh, full zirconia crown material, then the underlying stump is crucial because I'm sure we all have seen it somehow that we do a beautiful crown that looks great on the model. And then when it comes to cementation, the value drops and everything looks great. So that means the information uh, to have the right stump shade and how does this stump shade reflect onto the material that we're working with later on is extremely important. Let me ask you something. What's more important for the stump shade, uh, zirconia or Emacs, lithium silicate? It's both the same. You know, both is a full, a full porcelain system. Um, when we have a discolored stump, for example, and we're dealing with a, uh, um, a PFM material, obviously that doesn't matter because that the PFM can wonderfully cover everything. If we have a zirconia, porcelain fused to zirconia, then it's already a little bit better, but not quite 100% because we still deal with the stump shade. And if the stump shade is really dark, it will still show through. Jörg, tell me, I have many doctors that tell me, you know what, I have a dark stump, use zirconia, it will block it out. What do you think about that? That sounds good, but I'm not so quite sure if it really does the trick. If you have a really uh, dark stump, which is dark brown or almost black, or you have a metal post, it certainly will show. Mm -hmm. Is this because the zirconia materials got more translucent over the years? That even more so, absolutely. Uh, I remember when we started out with the zirconia and portion of zirconia, that zirconias used to be like really, really whitish and opaque. So that material was actually more capable of blocking um, a stark stump than mm. the zirconias that we are dealing with today because everybody is trying to get a more and more and more translucent zirconia, which is nice in a way, but it has also a lot of disadvantages at the same time. So Jörg, show me what you've done, okay? How do you make your how do you make my life easier now? Or how do you make everybody's technician's life easier? Okay, so first of all, I wanted to uh, develop a new shade guide, a new shade indicator. So um, I will show you a little bit, even though this is a webcam, so you can see that. So see, you have the concave uh, anatomy form on the lingual here. 
and it's a very thin veneer. It has um, surface texture. It has anatomy. It is handmade, hand carved, and polished. So, and that by itself is a huge difference uh, to all the other shade guides. Oftentimes, uh, for let's say uh, silicate materials, you have color indicators uh, that are porous. They're too thick, which are they can give you an idea of what the color may look like, but not quite. And um, but for me, the most important thing is that you have a color indicator or a shade guide in some what uh, respect that can um, add the information of the stump shape. So let me show you my stump shade guide that I have developed. It looks cool. Yeah, that's the wheel. Is it handmade, Jörg? Is it handmade? Absolutely, everything is unfortunately handmade. That means it's a lot of work to get these things done. Why? And Why unfortunately? Well, I wish I could standardize it and have it done by a machine, but uh, it's not that way. You know, everything has to be very precisely done and handmade. So um, the quality standard of these um, color indicators are, I would say, unmatched. You know, Perfect. I have not seen one indicator besides the Vito Shade Guide, which is, you know, in terms of the surface texture, and um, uh, the, 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 the surface, the homogeneous surface, very, very nice. Other shade guides usually who give you a certain indicator are oftentimes porous and way too thick. They're like two to three millimeters. And I have here something that is like in the center, it's 1.2 in the incisal edge, it's 0 0.9 and towards the cervical, it's 1.3 to 1.5. You know, but that's more because of stability reasons. So now, so you see that this is concave in the back, and now we have these stump shades. They have a certain form, so they fit perfectly well into the lingual aspect of the indicator. And here comes my holder, and that puts everything together. So now you can see that with this setup here, you are taking a shade. Right, so you identify at first, um, obviously the uh, stump shade. Let's say it's a, a number three or number two or, or whatever, and then you uh, see the natural tooth next to it, and let's say it's an A2, for example. And then the way how I go about it is, I take all the uh, three A2s that I have in my system. So I have here, as you see, I have an HT shade guide. I have an MT shade guide, and I also have uh, the LT shade guide, and also a bleach shade guide. So I take all three opacities at first from the shade that I want to achieve, and then I select, okay, which of the opacities does fit in this case here um, the best? Uh, is it the LT that I can cut back and layer a little bit? Is the MT that I can do both? I can do press and stain, I can do press cut back and a little bit of layering, or is it the HT that is um, more or less for press and stain technique? And we even have the HT plus that is more for like veneers or inlay onlays, like very, very translucent. Sometimes I recommend to technicians the digital guide from Ivoclar. It's an app and you can select different things on there. You can select the thickness. So why is it different to yours? The app is a, um, a beautiful uh, program. Uh, it has an algorithm and uh, which uh, works well. However, me as a technician, um, I prefer my own eyes and my own visual result because I can um, best like evaluate if I see a certain shade and then I would see this result here, then I see, okay, if I stain a little bit with that orange, or I'm going to stain with that chroma shade, I can tone it down. Then I'm going to layer a little bit like that. Then I can move these things around. And I know pretty much really quickly uh, when something will be work, you know, if something would work out well, or if I'm running into an issue, the app is for sure a very nice tool. You know, however, I, uh, I prefer the visual result better. So would you say that your system is more advanced and uh, the app from Ivo class for beginners who have no clue about 
what's going on, what ingots I select, who have never selected an ingot, and your system is more for advanced cases or advanced technicians? No, oh, not at all. No, I don't want to make any of the, that judgment. That's uh, uh, what is better or um, not better is uh, everybody's judgment. It's like um, everybody has certain preferences, right? So some people have that preferences, some people have a different preference. I can only share um, my experiences that I have gathered in all my 30 years um, and also having my own dental laboratory, working with patients day in, day out, um, what suits best for me and um, what I would recommend, so yeah. to speak. I can see this is a really great tool, Jörg, because when I'm sitting at the bench or when I'm in a doctor's office, I take the holder, I put the ingot in, I take a little bit of my stain and I put it on there. I hold it to the adjacent T's and I can write way. I can Absolutely. see, does it match? Does it not match? If it doesn't match, if the value is wrong, I can choose a different ingot and I put some stain on there again. And it's really easy to do, I guess. Correct? Exactly, Carsten. You nail it on the head. And that's the whole point. You can actually, when, when you do a custom shade, you can have your stain tray with you and you can immediately uh, touch up uh, the indicator. You can actually, um, there are multiple ways you could, for example, you could take like um, light cure stains and that add these, you know, light cure it and then you have it set and you can use it then for your definite restoration. That's one version. Or if you don't want to do that, you take your porcelain stains, at least you can stain it real quick and you see very quickly uh, where you're going to go with that. And that will give you a lot of uh, security and a better feel as a technician that you know what to do. And I think if you look at it from that aspect, I think this system is a little bit... Um, has more advantages uh, than the app, because on the app you can't stay. And I believe it's also really important because it builds trust with a dentist, because if you pick the wrong ingot and the dentist inserts it in the patient's mouth and it's too gray, the value is off, it loses trust in your ability. So if you are a lab and you do custom stains at the dentist's office and you go in there with a system and you can nail it right away and you can show the doctor what you're doing, I guess that's a big advantage because you show them your ability. You show them that the doctor can trust you and, and you show them that he can send you the difficult cases and that makes you a value partner. Oh, absolutely. You, you are having um, <clears throat> an advanced system here that has a lot more to offer and also the dentist can use it too in the communication with the uh, patient. Uh, oftentimes, um, patients, unfortunately, they have an unrealistic wish list when they come to the dentist and they would like to have a certain shade that is not so easy to match. And then it's uh, with this tool, with this shade guide here, you can show actually the patient, okay, so this is realistic. That's what we can do. On the other hand, display more quality. Uh, they are more state of the art. They have something new that can separate them from others that others may don't have because this is a very, very new system. Thank you very much, Jörg, for explaining this to us. Um, if you want to see more of these videos, let me know in the comment section and subscribe to my channel. Jörg, thank you very much. Have a great day. Carsten, thank you for having me. Best of luck. And if somebody has a problem or a question, you can always email me at info at apdental.net. Thanks, guys. Have a good thank day. You. Bye.